Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on differentiation 1. And in today's lesson, you are going to talk about implicit functions, how they are differentiated. So if y is given implicitly by an equation such as y to power 4 minus x squared minus xy minus 1 equal to 0, we cannot express y in terms of x. And such a function is called an implicit function. So in today's tutorial, we are going to see how we can differentiate such functions. So in such functions, the y dx can be got by differentiating both sides with respect to x. For example, if the, in this question, we are given a problem that find the y dx if x squared plus y squared minus 6xy plus 3x minus 2y plus 5 now to get dy dx for this or such an equation we shall have to differentiate both sides with respect to x but first we have to first rearrange by collecting like terms so x put x alone x values alone so we have x squared here we have 3x here we put it on one side then we have y here and y here put it in brackets and then we have xy terms which is that and the constant which is that then the side it will be equal to zero so we do this in order to easily differentiate. So we shall now differentiate both sides with respect to x. For this part, for this bracket, I think I said this variable is the same as this variable. So we differentiate normally. It will give us 2x here. For this, it will give us 3. But for this bracket, I think I said this variable is different from this variable. So you have to remember how to differentiate functions of y with respect to x and that was covered in the previous lesson so what do we do we have to first differentiate normally this one if you normally differentiate this it will be 2y minus 2 then after differentiating normally we have to multiply by dy dx so that's how they differentiate functions of y with respect to x then this one is a product of two functions but 6 is a constant you first pull out the minus 6 now you are left with xy how do you differentiate xy? Keep one constant. So, for example, if you first keep y constant, which is that, and differentiate x. When I differentiate x, I'll get 1. So, y times 1, I still remain with y, which is here. Then, on this other part, I'll keep x constant, which is that. Then, differentiate y. When I differentiate y, I'll get dy dx. So, that's how they differentiate such a product. Now, for this 5, 5 is a constant. So, when I differentiate it, I'll get 0. Similarly, 0, when I differentiate 0, I'll get 0. So by that I'll differentiate all the terms. Now what I'm left with is to rearrange and collect like terms. So this is here, this is here, and when I open brackets here I'll get negative minus 6y minus 6x dy dx. Then I'll put dy dx on one side and the other values that dy dx on the other side. So if I put dy dx values of dy dx this side, for dy dx I have 2y which is here. I have minus 6x which is here and minus 2 which is there. Then for the other side I'll put this one the other side to get negative 2x and minus 3. Negative 2x minus 3. Then for this one it's negative when it goes to the other side it become positive. So it is positive 6y. Then from there I'll bring the whole of this this side by dividing. So this I'll end up with dy dx being equal to 6y minus 2x minus 3. Everything divided by... 2y minus 6x minus 2. So that's the solution to problem 1. Now we shall go to problem 2. Problem 2, they want us to find dy dx if 3x minus y in brackets squared equal to 2xy plus 1 is equal to 2xy plus 1. So in the, like we said, we have to differentiate both sides. So Differentiate this side with respect to x and we shall differentiate this side with respect to x, which is that ddx this equal to ddx that. Now for here 3 is a constant, so I first pull it out, then I'm left with differentiating this. For this one you have to remember the concept behind chain rule, how bring down the power which is 2, reduce the power by 1 to be 2 minus 1, the power will be 1, so I'll end up with x minus y. Then in brackets I'll then I'll differentiate what is in, inside the bracket. When I differentiate x, I'll get 1. When I differentiate y, I'll get y dx. So in that case, I've differentiated this part. Now let's go to this part. For this part, 2, 
2 was not supposed to be there. Okay, yeah, it is because I'm going to try to shade this alone. So 2 is constant, I first pull it out, then I'm left with xy. When I shade xy, I'll say, I think that's, that's the product. So I'll say keep y constant, which is that. Differentiate x, which is 1. So y times 1 is, remains y. Then this part, I'll keep x constant, which is that. Then differentiate y, which is dy dx. Then for this one, when I, one is a constant, when I differentiate it, I'll get 0. So in that case, I've managed to differentiate all the terms. Now what I'm left with is to rearrange and collect like terms. So in this case, two times th 3 times 2 will give me 6. And that is the step. Then for this step, I'll split with the ones with dy dx and the ones without dy dx. So 6x, x, 6 in brackets x minus y times 1 will give me this term. Then 6 and this times dy dx will give me this term. For this side, this and that will give me 2y and this and this will give me 2x dy dx. Then I'll put dy dx on one side and the ones without dy dx on the other side. So I'll bring the whole of this this side. It's the negative, so when it goes this side, it will be a positive. Then for this side, 2y is a neg positive when it goes this side, it will be a negative. So I can open brackets to give me that and give me that. So in this case, I'll make dy dx the subject. But if I make dy dx the subject, I can first simplify. 6x plus 2x will give me 8x. And negative 6y minus 6 2y will give me negative 8y. Then also here I can you can see that 3, 2 is common in both. So I can factorize out 2 to give me 3x and 4y. Then also here I factorize out 2 to give me 4x and 2 and 3y. Then from there I'll make dy dx the subject to give me 3x minus 4y. Everything divided by 4x minus 3y. So that will be the derivative of the given function. Now we shall go to problem 3. Given x squared plus y squared equal to square root of 10x minus 5y, find the value of dy dx when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. So the solution, we shall do the same how to now here in this case it's better to first remove the square root because it's easier to differentiate without the square root. So I've squared both sides to give me this line. Other squaring both sides are now differentiate both sides with respect to x. For this part, you have to remember that the concept of behind chain rule. How? Bring down the power which is to reduce the power by 1 which is 2 minus 1 to give me power 1 which is that. Then multiply what is inside the bracket. When I multiply 2 x, sorry. Differentiate what is inside the bracket. When I differentiate 2x, I'll get. When I differentiate x squared, I'll get 2x. And when I differentiate y squared, I'll get 2y dy dx. We either dy dx because the variables are different. Y x. That is this part. Now for this part, differentiate 10x with respect to x, I'll get 10. Differentiate 5y with respect to y. I think I'm sure that they are different. So I'll get 5. When I differentiate 5y, I'll get 5. Then I'll remember to multiply by dy dx. So in that side case, I've not differentiated all the terms. Now what I'm left with is to simplify and rearrange. So in this case, this multiplied by this will give me that part. And this multiplied by this will give me this part. And for this part, what I'm going to do is to collect like terms. dy dx is this. And there's also, there's also this minus 5. When it comes inside, it will become plus 5 of dy dx. Then I'll take the whole of this, this side, it was positive, it will become negative. Then from there, what I'm left with is to bring this one this side. So I'll get 10x, sorry, 10 minus 4x cubed minus 4xy squared. Everything divided by 4x squared y plus 4y cubed plus 5. But they told us that y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 4. So I'll come and substitute for x and y in my dy dx. So I'll substitute for x. x is 4. x is 4 here. But y is 3. I put here 3. x is 3 is 4. Put here 4. This has p 4. So let me correct that. Yeah, so that is that. There is this 4. Then x is 4. Put here 4. y is 3. Put here 3. Then y is 3. Put here 3. There is this 5. So in the end when I differentiate. When I 
subs use the calculator will come up with negative 78 over 61 which can be rounded off to negative 1.2787 so that brings us to the end of our lesson and that's how they differentiate implicit functions thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel ROA e-learning platform